little artist, for today's project, do you will need some yarn, some popsicle sticks. We'll need three popsicle sticks, scissors, and a green marker or green paint. We're going to start off by taking our popsicle sticks. You'll need three. And we're going to take our marker, or you could use paint. But you take your green marker, lay it on its side, and you color in the whole popsicle stick. I'm going to color the side of the popsicle stick. I'm going to color the back of the popsicle stick. The whole popsicle stick. And you're going to need to even get where your fingers go. And that's why I keep getting it all over myself. So be as careful as you can as you get all the edges, the front and the back, and then lay it down to dry. So now I have all three of my green popsicle sticks ready and they're dry. Some popsicle sticks have a different coating on them and they won't take color as good as others. It doesn't matter as long as you get it mostly green. Or if you have to, if you just use plain popsicle sticks, that would be okay too. I'm going to start with my green popsicle sticks and I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to make an X, a wide X, and then I'm going to put this one right in the middle. I'm trying to line them up in the middle from end to end. I'm trying to find the middle and line them up like this. If you have a hot glue gun or some very sticky glue dots or something like that. You could put a little dot of glue between them to hold them together. School glue may not hold it together. It would take it a while to dry. So I suggest either a hot glue gun or just leave it like it is. You don't have to glue them, but if you can, it might make it easier. Since I'm not gluing mine, I'm going to pull them together like this and I'm going to get my yarn. For this project, I've taken all my yarn that's in big uh, rolls like this and I've made them into little smaller balls like this that um, are easier to handle. You don't have to do this. This is just something I do to make the project easier. So I'm going to start with this. This is a green yarn that changes. It starts off light, gets darker, and then it turns back light again and even goes to white. And I'm going to line this up. All three of the popsicle sticks are here. I've lined them up together and I'm going to tie it off in the middle. If this moves while I'm tying, I'm not going to worry because I can move it up and down the sticks is needed. So if you're not sure about time knots, I have all three popsicle sticks here. I've got my yarn going around those three and I'm going to take my long end, my attached end, I'm going to go over top and then my cut end, I'm going to go back over the first piece of yarn and come through the middle. You can see how that just overlaps. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make a loop, go under, back through, and pull it tight. So I did that twice to make it nice and tight. So now I'm going to line up my knot, cut this extra piece off. Make sure that my knot is in the middle, close to the middle. And then I'm going to twist. My pot sickle sticks so that they're spread out about the same. And I'm going to wrap between each one. And I'm going to do this several times so that it holds them in place. If one falls out of place, I just move it back and wrap a little bit more. See how I'm just going between, coming over top, 
between and then when I need to switch to the next one I go to the next one over top so I'm just going around and so this will hold it in place if you used hot glue you won't have to worry as much about this holding it all in place so now you can see I've got this kind of thick that I've gone over the top several times now I'm going to pick which side I think is the better side. This one I think looks better than this side. So I am going to leave this side at the top and this side is going to be the bottom. And it's a little different because I'm going to work on the bottom side and not the top side. So I'm going to take my Sharpie. I'm going to just put a little dot right here. This is so I know that this is where I started. And this is also the bottom. This is the side I should be working on. So if at any point I'm working and I can't remember which side the side I'm supposed to be working on, I just look for that dot and I'll remember. And I'm going to start on that dot. So I'm going to go around it, around that popsicle stick, and then I'm going to take my yarn to the next one. And I'm going to go around that one. And then take my yarn to the next one. And I just keep going around each popsicle stick. I go around that popsicle stick and I come to the next one. See how I'm going under the popsicle stick over the top and back to the next popsicle stick. So then I go under this popsicle stick over into the next popsicle stick and I've made one round because I've gone back to my dot around the popsicle stick over to the next one back around the popsicle stick over under the next one around it I just keep weaving this pattern around each popsicle stick and I might have to at times make sure that my yarn is nice and tight close to each other I don't want to overlap the yarn with the piece that I did before but I want to make sure to keep going so I go around each popsicle stick go around the popsicle stick go to the next one go under over and to the next one under over to the next one under over to the next one I just keep that pattern going Now I can tell that I'm doing this correctly because this is the bottom because I have my dot and see how it looks like the yarn is going around the popsicle stick. If I flip it over to this side, you don't see the popsicle stick sticking out anymore. So that's how I know that I'm going the right way. And I only work on this side with my dot. So if I flip it over and work on the wrong side, then it's not going to turn out correctly. If you make a mistake and it doesn't look like it's supposed to, just stop, unwind it, and make sure you're going under the popsicle stick, back over it, and then go around behind it to the next popsicle stick. So make sure you're following that pattern over and over and over again, turning it to the next popsicle stick every time. Now once you get so that only a little bit of the popsicle stick is left, then you will be done. I'm going to stop right here where my dot is because that's the last one. And you can see he has a nice little shell now. Now I'm going to cut because I have mine on a, a little, uh, in a little ball. I'm going to just cut a little bit off, leaving some extra. I'm going to take my extra and I'm going to tie it off. 
And this is how I'm going to tie it off. So see how, oops, I must work on the wrong side. Remember, I only work on this side with my dot. And there's my dot. So I'm going to go around the last one. I'm going to come back. And instead of going to the next popsicle stick, I'm going to come back. And I am going to tie it to the previous piece layer, previous layer. See how that ties right there. And we always use a double knot to keep make sure it's staying in place. That tight. That tight. And then I'm gonna knot it again. And you know how to make a knot, hopefully. If not, you just make your loop around. Your yarn goes over the piece that's down and back through your loop. And then go tight. And there's my knot. It does look a little loose compared to the others, but hopefully it will work its way in. There we go. So I just need to cut that extra piece off. Try to hide that little knot right there. And there we go. There's our little turtle. All I have left to do is take the Sharpie. Give them two eyes. A mouth. And some little toes on that one. Toes. This one is his tail, so I'm not going to draw anything. And then I'm going to go on this side and draw toes and toes. And there is my little turtle face and toes. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, make sure to like this video.